A lot of my favorite memories revolve around food. Okay, here's another. Let's, let's, let's make food the runner on Lipstick Jungle. I'll never forget. So we shot the pilot and like it was racy, you know, but and I had done like some like romantic, sexy ish scenes, but like never anything like this. So when we actually went to shoot the series, it was during that writer's strike. So it was just like, you're going to get seven scripts and we're just going to shoot them. You know what I mean? Because like there was the writers weren't writing. And I remember seeing, first of all, the day before we started episode two, it's like I'm in New York now. This is actually happening. It's my first big show. I get a, a writer to my contract uh, stipulating that I will, I consent to wearing a modesty triangle. And I, oh, I yes. I, I have never heard of a modesty triangle. What is that exactly? Right. It's, well, Jay, it's literally a very tiny triangle made out of what appears to be an old napkin, very, very thin, worn napkin with some double stick tape at the top of the triangle. So like if that's the top and then it goes, and you, it basically turns you into a human Ken doll. It, it, I would much prefer to be naked because it's really emasculating and just uncomfortable and weird. Anyways, I get this, but at the time I've never heard of a modesty triangle, but something deep in my being says, this is, this is not great. This is not great. Anyways, cut to episode three. There's a scene where myself and, and um, Kim Raver, our characters are, are getting hot and heavy. And uh, as usually happens, like I end up getting completely naked before she's even like taken off an earring or a shoe. And I, we somehow end up on top of a table and it says that like midway through the throes of making out, I grab an orange, bite it, and then squeeze it into her mouth. <laughs> I was mortified because first of all, that's just not who I am. I don't have that level of confidence between, you know, bringing food into the bedroom. Um, and so I remember on the day I went into the bathroom at, at the stage with like a up just a handful of mandarins and was like, what's the sexiest way to bite a mandarin? You know, like, do I, or do I like, you know, I didn't know. So anyways, we go to do this. So mind you, I am completely naked, except a modesty triangle. I'm crawling on top of a table. So I'm on all fours, Jay. Very uncomfortable position to be nude with a room full of adults. And, and I go and I, I'm like, let's just do it. You just gotta go all in, you know, whatever jump in the deep end, I grab the orange, I bite it, feels like a sexy nibble, I don't know. And then I, I pull it over and I squeeze it. And rather than it trickling into her mouth, which would have been ideal, it shoots a direct line, not into her mouth, but into her eye. So she's getting orange juice into her eye and, and Kim being the absolute professional she is, she's just like, uh, and, and then rolls with it. And in my head, I'm like, this is what I get. This is what I get for thinking I could be sexy enough to bring produce into lovemaking. If you tried that in the marriage bed today at your house, you'd be sleeping in the other room. I'd get laughed out of the bedroom. Grant, Grant Gustin's watching right now. Uh, he just tuned in. I don't know I love if you saw that. He says, hey, go on. And he tuned in right at the, uh, at the perfect time because I'm sure he can relate. What's up, Grant? Um, I'm sure love he can you, Grant. You know, as viewers, we're watching these scenes. We're like, oh, yeah, dude. Well, that's, that's sexy, you know. I don't actually say that out loud, but you know. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I've been in the room with you. You do say that out loud. You say it loud too. You shush everybody before you say it. It's weird. <laughs> but we're watching, we're, we're like into it. Or it's like, oh man, the chemistry, very sexy. Uh, and my mom's watching, so I'm like really nervous all of a sudden. But it's totally the opposite of what you guys are experiencing in that moment. Yeah, so it was my very first love scene on that show was the most awkward, crazy, uncomfortable. Cause it was, it was the first like proper sex scene I'd ever done. And again, it's like my first big show. So on top of already being nervous about being naked in front of the world, also it occurred to me right before they called action, I've never really thought about the way I look during this act, but like being an actor, I, you can only do what you know. So I suddenly was like, what if what I do looks stupid and I've just had really courteous girlfriends. Now you're in your so, head. Yeah. So all of a sudden I'm like, what kind of face do I make? How's my posture? What do I flex? And because of the time Kim had just had her baby, I, it was a body double under me. So it's a gal who literally, as I walked, they built three quarters of a bedroom in a high school gymnasium. I kid you not. So I'm in, I'm in some high school gym with three quarters of a bedroom on a bed. They're like, hey, this is Sue. Hi, Sue, Rob. I'm turned into a Ken doll. She has pasties in a triangle. It's like, wildly uncomfortable it's the kind of thing where i'm like hey nice to meet you 
you know, because it's like, we don't know each other. And then literally have to lay on top of the person. There's a piece of green tape on the headboard where my eye line should be. And they're like, and action. And again, right before they call action, I'm like, I have all this self doubt and just everything happening at once, getting the cold sweat. And then, and then the director is on the other side of the gym, screaming notes about the sex happening. So it was like, the worst way of losing your virginity with your creepy uncle in the closet. Like he was like, great, now, all right, sweet. You love her, it's great, Robbie. Okay, now it's athletic, now it's athletic. It's Cirque de Soleil, go, go. Ah, oh, you're finishing, it's over, ah. <laughs> oh my God. And I, I was just, it was one of those things where like, it's like a car accident and you're like, you, you walk out and you're like, I survived, but what just happened? You guys traumatized. It's nuts because it I, I don't think people realize that's that's what goes on. I mean, you always hear like at press junkets and interviews, it's like, yeah, the sex scenes are never, you know, hot and passionate. But to hear specifics like that, I don't even I don't even have the words. It's uh, <laughs> it's a lot. It's it, it, it's the like like a fight scenes are boring to shoot. Fight scenes look awesome but they take a ton of time and there's nothing ever as exciting because you're always throwing like punches two feet shallow. There's a lot of movie magic in that. Sex scenes even more so.